Yo, what is good, guys? We are back with game two for Ulti semifinals. Kickasa versus Ojama. Ojama up 1 0. And looking at the teams, it has to be Assault with Megiano on Kickasa's side um, to help check Alakazam and Greninja. Uh, either the Sapiria or the Landris, one of the two is going to be Choice Scarf. And uh, Sapiria might also have Glare to support a breaking tap with Lele. So that way, Lele can outspeed stuff and break Evia. Um, Lele sees are going to be Specs or Z move. Kind of depends on the Garchomp set. Because um, Garchomp. Um, could be Z or could be Tank Chomp but Rocky Helmet. Um, if the um, Zard is Zard X, then either the Landris or the Zapiria is going to be Defog. But if it's Zard Y, it could even be Double Defog on Kickass's side to support the Zard. And I think the Chomp set might also depend on the Zard because if the Zard is Y with Rocks up, Kartana is a huge problem for Kickass's team. Um, so that means it could be Tank Chomp if it's Zard Y, but if it's Zard X, that can check Kartana a bit better. So then if it's Zadex, it might be a more offensive chomp. That's how I see it. Um, but I think Tank Chomp overall um, makes sense even if it's Zadex because he does look quite weak to Kartana. Um, well, I assume he might have HP Fire on Megiana, but that's not the best answer. And the opponent can also switch out on that. Um, but yeah, he has some checks for it, but he doesn't have the best answer. So Tank Chomp could definitely help versus that. And on Ojama's side, uh, Suikun is going to be sub-protect Scald. Last move is a Toxic or Common because he does have that support from Grassy Terrain, which means you are always want sub on Suikun. You have Leftovers and Grassy Terrain. Budo is going to be Spadef to help versus Greninja and Alakazam. And usually when you have a Grass type as the Alakazam check, then you also want Spadef Train with Toxic and Protect. As my man, sorry, um, yeah, he pretty much told, told me about this when he built uh, with a Grass type. He always puts Spadef Toxic Train because otherwise Alakazam is just too scary. Um, yeah, on Ojama's side, I think the Torn has to be Rocky Helmet because otherwise Katana bops him because he gives Katana terrain with the Bulu. Has to be bulky Rocky Helmet Tornadoes. And then the Z move is either on the Landris or on the Tran. If the Z move is, Z move is on Tran, then the Landris is Scarf. If the Z move is on the Landris, then he probably just doesn't have a Scarf, which means he is most likely Fake Out plus Quick Attack on a low bunny for speed control. That's how I see it at least. So turn 1 Ojama could just throw out a hurricane. Um, if Kikasa stays in, then he would get information if it's offensive or bulky chomp. If Kikasa doesn't want the guard chomp to get weakened, he can go into the Megiana. Lopani is amazing in this matchup um, also, especially if that Landris is offensive on Kikasa's side. If um, Ojama can get the rocks up, Lopani looks like it can kind of run through Kikasa's team. So if this is tank chomp, um, I think he definitely wants to switch out to keep it healthy as that helps check the low pony later in the game so we're either gonna see kick as a stay in and um, maybe go for rocks or switch out into the megiana one of the two plays and um ojama is probably just gonna throw out a hurricane but he could also go for um a u-turn to get momentum predicting the megiana but he just throw out a hurricane so now he's probably gonna knock off the assault vest and kick as uh, most likely just gonna go for volt switch here as volt switch covers the heat run coming out and also covers the tornadoes staying in um, so it does knock off, which is most likely a Solvus, exactly, and he Volt Switches. And now he can bring out um, either the Scarf Landers to scatter out with Edge, or he can bring out the Zard, as he does bring out the Zard, and he's Zard Y. So Jama's probably just going to U-turn here to see if it's X or Y, he sees it's Y. And I think Kikaza probably went for Focus Blast, um, as that covers the Heatran. Um, Ojama is probably going to pivot into Suicune, as I think Suicune has a chance to lift Focus Blast into Solar Beam with Protect and Leftovers, though that's still a role I think in Kikasa's favor, but I will have to run a Kalk at the side. Um, so Suicune versus Zard. Um, Solar Beam does 65.8 to 77.7 to Suicune, and Focus Blast does 32.9 to 38.8. So I think the role would still be in Kikasa's favor. To kill with Focus Blast into Solar Beam. So I think you always click Focus Blast here if you kick Asa. Because even if he goes Suicune, as long as you hit, you should bring in a range of Solar Beam. And um, yeah, I feel like he's definitely going to go Suicune though. Because um, the Focus Blast is just super obvious here. Which would predict the Spadef Tran and it would 2 hit kill the Tran as he does dodge. And yeah, Pressure gets rid of 2 Focus Blast PP. Which means he has 6 Focus Blasts left. Now he can protect um, on the Solar Beam. And the thing is, the Suicune um, is quite good for Jama in the match. So he he might want to pivot into Tren here, is what I'm trying to say. So Kikasa can Focus Blast predicting that, I think. And even if Suikun stays in... Well, I guess, yeah, if Suikun stays in, it could be bad for Kikasa. Because it could either go for a Calm Mind on the Focus Blast, or it could go for Toxic, putting Zard on a timer. So this is a... Like, Kikasa has to get this play correct. He has to either Sol Beam predicting the Kun to stay in, or he has to Focus Blast predicting the Tren. Um... If he focus best as Kuhn stays in, it could be really bad for him. 
But um, I feel like Ojama doesn't want to let the Suicune take the Solar Beam, so it's more likely that he would pivot into Tren as he does just do that. Kicks out predicts that, and this time he hits the Focus Blast. And yeah, that's Spadef Tren only taking 60 from Focus Blast. Um, pivots back into Suicune, predicting the next Focus Blast as pressure, and he dodges again, brings the Focus Blast down to now um, 3 PP. And now. Uh, Kikasa switches out there, anticipating the Protect as Ojama pivots into Landris, which could live a Solar Beam and also covers the switch out as he just, just get the rocks up. They exchange rocks. Now, if you're Kikasa here, um, you don't really have a play because I'm assuming this is just um, Earthquake, Rocks, then either Dragon Tail or Raw, and then either Fire Blast or Toxic Chump. So I guess I guess if he has Toxic, he can go for that. But he doesn't really have much for this Landris. So um, he doesn't want to take a HPI, so he goes into Superior there. But Ojama goes for Z, and Z Fly is just going to kill the Superior. Yeah, like I was just going to say, he doesn't have a good switch in for the Landris. Um, so he goes into Zart now, and he's just going to Flamethrower. And Ojama might just go for Raw Fly, which should do like 60-ish to the Zard. Is that, that's my head color, because Zard Y doesn't have the best fizz dev. Um, yeah, but pretty much Zard, the Lando being Z-move, um, yeah, it was quite obvious that it was Z-move, I guess, since... No, it could have also been Z on the Bulu, yeah. But like, it was obvious that the trend has to be speed dev on this team, so I think he just went for a raw fly. Now, Kikakasa can go for a roost, which um, allows him to lift the fly, and then he can just solar beam the next turn. Um, also, yeah. Lando being Z means the Lopani most likely has Fake Out and Quick Attack because Ojama most likely doesn't have a Scarfa. Unless that's like a Scarf Bulu, but that would just be bad in my opinion. He has to be Spadef Bulu. Um, otherwise, Ash Greninja destroys him. And like he cannot switch into Greninja if, if he's offensive Bulu, so he has to be Spadef. And same with Alakazam. So he roots breaking the fly, that's 58. Now he's most likely gonna Solar Beam. And um, Ojama pivots into Heatran. Okay, so I think, um, yeah, he just Focus Blasts here. Ojama. Just might just hope for a dodge here, slash sack the Heatran as long as the Focus Blast connects. Focus Blast does connect, Heatran goes down, and now Lopani can come out. And Lopani is a huge problem, especially with Rocks up. Um, unless that's a bulky Landris, um, Kikas is in a tough spot. I assume this is going to be Fake Out, um, Frustration, slash Return, Quick Attack, and High Jump Kick. So I assume it just goes for Frustration, slash Return here, which weakens the Landris. Now we will see if it's offensive Landris. Yep, that is offensive. So I assume that this is Scarf Landris. Uh, we're gonna see Ojama switch out here into the Torn or into the Suicune. Um, I would personally probably maybe go Suicune. Okay, that sounded weird. <laughs> but yeah, I would go Suicune, I think, because... But if you go Tornadus on a potential Stone Edge, um, this Landris is likely to have Edge on kick Assa's team. Um, because he doesn't have great answers for Tornadus. And this also helps him versus opposing Zard Y and versus um, opposing... Like Zadex if it stays in regular form, and it also helps with his pincer as he seems to be quite weak to pincer. But he just U-turns. This works out well for Ojama. Ojama can now U-turn out um, either into Bulu or Kun, probably into Bulu to change up the terrain. Now we will see from the damage if this Lele is Specs or Zemo. That Psyshock did so much um, that might actually be modest Specs that 59 to the Bulu. So Ojama can protect here, get some leftovers plus grass terrain back. Um, and this next Psyshock might be a roll. Um, though the Suicune can probably outspeed the Lele, so he might also pivot into the Suicune. Um, he can take the Psyshock quite okay, this should do like 50-ish to Suicune. 47, okay. Um, and now we see Suicune's Grass Terrain goes first before Lele's Grass Terrain, so we know that the Suicune is faster. And Ojama can actually stall us out with Leftovers and Grass Terrain. He can sub and protect and stall the Lele out of Psyshock PP. Um, Kikasa is still gonna stay in, I think, to um, try and weaken the Suicune into range from... Um, yeah, I guess so he has it in range from Lando's Earthquake, stuff like that. So he's just going to keep attacking, but eventually he's going to be forced to switch out into either Megino or Garchomp. Um, yeah, it kind of depends on the Garchomp set. If the Garchomp has Dragon Tail, then it can't really do anything to the Kuhn. But if it has Raw, then it can phase out the Kuhn in case the Kuhn gets up a sub. Um, so he's just going to sub down here. As um, Kikasa is just going to Psyshock again, he only has three left because of pressure, like versus the Suicune at least, he only has three, so now he has two left. Jama's just gonna protect here. Uh, Kikasa could also try to hard switch out on the obvious protect, but no, he stays in and Psyshocks again. He just wants the Kuhn low, so he only has one Psyshock left. Um, so Jama's gonna sub here to start out the last Psyshock PP from the Tapu Lele. And then after that, he's free to throw out a Scald, and Kikasa's gonna have to switch out. But yeah, this um, Lopani is a huge problem for Kikasa since the Landris is um, Scarf and not a bulky variant. So the Superior was then probably a Leftovers variant or a Z-Move variant. 
Um, yeah, he might also just not have his Z move use after disappear. I was a left, I was very in. So now that was his last side shock, which means he has to switch out unless he wants to struggle. This Lily is still valuable, it can live a hit from low punny, so there's no reason to sack it. Um, so he's gonna switch out into either Magina or um, Garchomp. Probably Garchomp though. Uh, Ojama's free to throw the Scald here. Yeah, he does go for Scald on the Garchomp. Does he get a burn? He does not get a burn. Now he's gonna protect here. Let's see if he has Dragon Tail or Roar. Has Roar, okay. And Lanus um, dies. Now. Bulu is probably the play here for Ojama. Um, but yeah, this Garchomp just revealed Raw, so Rocks, Earthquake, and then the last move could be either Toxic or Fire Blast, but I think the Bulu, because it's Spadef, will probably be able to live a Fire Blast if the Chomp has it. Because, like, um, yeah, like, it Bulky Chomp doesn't run any, like, Spadef investments, so, like, Spadef Bulu should be able to live that, and Hall Leech gets some health back, and then Protect to get even more health back, so yeah, Bulu comes out. Bulu's just gonna Hall Leech here. Uh, also, sometimes you see Stumping Tantrum on Garchomp instead of Earthquake if you have a Bulu on the same team, but he had a Superior and not a Bulu, so it made sense that he had Earthquake, probably. That's what I'm thinking. But yeah, um, if Kickaza doesn't have anything, or like he st probably still wants Garchomp healthy because it's most likely Rocky Helmet that can chip the low punny. So he's probably gonna switch out into Magiena, Um or he might go for Toxic or Fire Blast. Kinda just depends. Um, but Ojama, th like if Fire Blast kills for some reason, I don't think it does, then he might protect to get the leftovers plus terrain back. But otherwise, he's super free to click Horn Leech, which I assume is just going to click Horn Leech. So Magina comes out there, and um, Magina's going to have either Iron Head or um, Flash Can, one of the two. And he's just going to click that right here. But Ojama's probably just going to protect, get some more leftovers plus Grassy Terrain back. Um, yeah, this Bulu usually carries Protect, Horn Leech, then either Superpower or Stone Edge. Superpower is way more common. Last move is either SD or Bulk Up. Could actually be Bulk Up on this team, Ojama is... Um, not that great versus Zygarde, but like, he's kind of weak to Zygarde. It's like Coil Zygarde could destroy his team, so I could see that being uh, Bulka Bulu and not SD. So there's Horn Leeches. I assume we see now Iron Head or Flash coming from the Magiana. Yep. Now Ojama is likely to protect again, so that way he can lift the next Flash Cannon. Uh, basically, what Ojama is trying to do at this point is just weakening the Magiana so that um, that helps him win late game with the low punny. I think that's his plan at this point. Lopani looks really good since um, rocks are up, Landris is offensive. Lopani is likely to have quick attack as well, like I said earlier, because he uh, most likely doesn't have a Scarfer on this team, the way it has been playing. Yeah, he doesn't have a Scarfer. He turn revealed lefties, Lander revealed Z move, Torn revealed Helmet, I think. So we can reveal lefties, and this is lefties as well. Um, now Grassy Terrain ends, which means Hornleech will do less than superpower. So if he stays in, he's just gonna superpower here. Yep. And Magina's gonna flash candle tank of the Bulu here, most likely. And now the low punny can come out and scare out the Magina, which means kick as a. Well, he might have just sacked the Magina, because Magina, if it switches out, it's at 10%, and it pretty much loses to everything. The only mon it can take a hit from is like the Torn, I guess, if it dodges a hurricane, maybe. Or maybe it can live a hurricane naturally, barely. No, I don't think it can live a hurricane at 10, because the AV got knocked off. But yeah, Ojama's just gonna click frustration slash return here. And, um,. He does go Garchomp. I was like thinking if he would just sack the Magina because Magina does nothing, but he goes Garchomp because he wants the Rocky Helmet plus Rough Skin. I personally would have probably just sacked the Magina because what's the Magina doing? But um, this game, this game is gonna be close as shit. So he sacks Garchomp. Now he has to go into Landris. Scarf Landris is like the only one that keeps kick ass in the game at this point. Otherwise, Lopani would pretty much just win. Well, no, Lele also lives a hit. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Lele also lives a hit. Um, Lele is at, I think, 80-something after rocks, so he should be able to live a hit as well, barely. But if it takes any more chip, um, like if it takes like two rock switches, then Lele is also in range from low bunny. As, yeah, Lele is at 86, if I see this right. If I remember right, pretty much. Um, so now Scarf Landers has to come out, and then, um, Aljama is obviously going to switch out because the Lopani is the one that can win him the game, so he doesn't want to lose it. So Landris is going to come out here, or Lily, one of the two, probably Landris. And then, like I said earlier, I think this Landris is probably going to have Edge because it helps with his Pinsir, Opposing Zards, and Torns that are all threats to kick Asa's team. So I just. He might then go for Edge, which um, Edge probably might be a role to kill the Lopani. I'm going to count it real quick. Um, Lopani versus Landris. Stone Edge does. 22.8 to 60, 26.9 to the low punny, which means he has edge. I think it's always the play here because the Suicune is super low. Um, if it doesn't die to edge, it gets two it killed. Uh, yeah, Suicune is at 22 after rocks, which means it probably dies to edge. Um, the Torn will also die after rocks to edge. The Torn, um, I don't know how healthy it's exactly, but it's 
Definitely in range of edge as the rocks, assuming this land was max attack, which I think if max attack because it didn't take the return from the low pony that well at all earlier. It did like 42 or something. Or was that to guard from? No, it also did like 42 to the land. So if he has edge, I think he always clicks it here. Um, otherwise, this is like bad for kick as because Lojama is always going to switch here and not risk the low pony dying. Um, he's likely to go into Tornadus. Because Tornadus covers the Earthquake, covers the U-turn, and also covers HPIs, because HPIs wouldn't do much. Though I think this lander doesn't have HPIs. I already stated why. Um, I didn't talk about the uh, Zygarde matchup yet, but he has some ways to deal with Zygarde. He has a Raw Chomp, which can phase out a sub Zygarde. He has a Superior, which can take 1000 arrows. And Lele can also outspeed bulky Zygarde and blow them away. And Lando, even without HPIs, can still. Um, intimidate, shuffle, um, like intimidate, then U-turn, then pivot into the superior, and then, like you guys get what I'm trying to say, he has some ways to check Zygarde. Not the best, but I think Edge just makes more sense to deal with Pinsir opposing um, Tornadus and um, Zarts, right? So I think he has Edge and he should click it here. If he doesn't have it, I don't really know what I would do if he doesn't have it. Then I guess he might HP Ice Break in the Torn, but that would not kill, which would then allow Jama to go into Suikun the next turn. If if he has, yeah, if he locks an HPI, so then he might have to double, and then mind games would go on if he's HPI. So if he's HPI, so it's just really bad for him because HPI also doesn't kill the low pony. I'm pretty sure, probably only just like 18 to 20 ish. So I hope he just has edge and he clicks it here. Otherwise, kick is in a tough spot. Also, he does seem to have some internet issues, which allowed me to talk about this scenario in depth this turn. Um, yeah, I hope my audio is fine, guys. I had some audio issues. Um, error test recording I did earlier. Because I haven't recorded in a few days, so I like um, reset. Like I was just testing my program earlier, a uh, program earlier. And the problem I have, like I have to always play the music while I'm recording. So I just put the music super low now, so I don't risk that you guys cannot hear my voice. Um, because I can't really render the music in after the video, because that takes way too long with my bad computer. Um, I will get a better computer, but it will probably be next year. I thought about getting one now, but I looked into computers, and I want a really good computer that can render faster. And I looked into like the prices and yeah, I pretty much saw that I have to save some more money. I'm not able to get one right now. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to help me out, you can become member in the description. Um, when I get my new computer, I will be streaming. And then if you're a member, you can use specific e emotes that other people can't use. And yeah, just in general, you will get... Um, um, if you want teams, I will pass you teams if you're a member, obviously. You, you um, get to choose over other people what mods I use in the next live, stuff like that if you become a member. Um, but that's all that becomes more interesting when I get my new computer, as he does edge breaking torn, yep. So I think he always had to click it there, when if he had it, I just wasn't sure if he had it, right? But it makes a lot of sense, I explained why I think that he probably had it. So now low pony comes back out and clicks fake out, fake out definitely kills because he's not intimidated anymore. And uh, kick I will probably have to sec the Megiena here uh, after the low pony comes up, which is what Ojama is going to do. Um, though Suikun, if it lifts the edge, I guess he can go to that, but low pony just makes more sense here. Also, low pony resists rocks, which means he has, still has multiple switch ins. And yeah, also, if you guys don't have money to support me with um, to become a member, I think it's like $5 a month, 5 euros, whatever, where you live. Um, yeah, just support me by smashing that thumbs up button. And yeah, I mean, if you have ad block, you can turn it off to help me out as well. If you want to support me and if you don't have any money, um, that would be really appreciated because I'm, I really want to get a new computer so I can give you guys better content. I want to always upload in 60 FPS, 1080p, and I want to start streaming, which um, yeah, it's just easier with a new computer. This laptop I have at the moment is not, it's just not the thing. Also, if you guys listen carefully, you can probably hear some background noise from the computer because the computer is loud. The new computer will be lower, which means no background noise better audio and I will also be able to I will also try out something with the Smoktus I will try to put the Smoktus chat um, different it will be really cool just wait for it um, I will have changed the dimensions around a bit so now if he has quick attack he clicks it and even if he has it though um, since the Landris gets intimidated on the low pony that means um, the Lele can definitely live a hit from the uh, low pony so if he doesn't have Quick attack, I think Ojama just loses here, but if he has this, which he should have, because I already explained he doesn't have a scarf, so it just makes sense, exactly. It just makes a lot of sense as speed control to have fake out and quick attack, looking at his team, just 
it just had to be quick attack so Lele comes out can easily lift the return I think it might have also been able to live it without the intimidate um, but yeah Ojama makes I think the correct play there going for the return and now Skull I think is a roll I will run the cult um, Ojama goes for protect first and then he goes for Skull we know that the Suicune is fast the Suicune has to get the roll and Skull does 24.9 to 29.8 which means Ojama needs like a max roll uh, assuming this Lele is at 29 knowing Shodown Shodown likes to round up or down however you say that so if Ojama gets the high roll, he can still win. If not, kick Asa just takes this and we will get a game 3. Um, but Psychic will obviously kill the Suicune from this range. Um, uh, I will be hyped for a game 3. This has been such a fun set to watch. Um, some tournament games lately have not been that great, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. They have been kinda eh, like always some misplays here and there. If he does not get the roll, Psychic is gonna kill the Suicune. We're gonna get a game 3, so that was really hyped. I still think he made the correct play. Returning first into Scalding, I think, gave him better chances to win the game um, instead of um, switching out and coming back. And neutral return would not have killed, I'm pretty sure. So, he, John made the correct place. So not sure what the dude is talking about in the smoke just chat. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm hyped to bring you game three in a bit. And I really hope the audio is fine. Like I said, I've had some audio issues with this mic and test recordings. Um, so, just stay tuned for game three and smash that like button if you enjoyed. And peace out, friends.